Hello, my name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you're having a wonderful day. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model a relatively simple tire with enough details inside Blender. So let's get started. Inside Blender, you want to go ahead and add a simple circle and rotate it on the Y axis 90 degrees. Once you've done that, you want to jump into edit mode switch it to vertex select and grab the move tool and just push it aside that's because we'll be adding the mirror modifier to allow us to just work in one part of the geometry and all the information are transferred to the other side of the geometry it's important you apply the rotation and scale so that blender can work with the most accurate information about your geometry and at this point what you want to do is to just look at the reference which you're trying to recreate and just model allowed model it to have an overall shape and feel of the particular tire which you're working off next i will add an edge loop and just um, bevel it out to kind of get some even space in between the edges and then i'll go ahead and adjust it to match the reference which i'm going off and it's important you have even distribution among the edges now i'm going to select those two edge loops and bevel it one more time and then extrude it inwards once I'm happy, I can select um, those faces that I want to work on and hide the rest. Next, I'm going to select the edge loop and rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. So I'm going to rotate it slightly so you can hold down shift to assist you with more precise rotation. So I'm going to add another additional edge loop and do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. If you're happy, you can move on to the next stage. At this point, I'm just readjusting it to make sure I have even distribution between the spaces. Um, you will see me scaling down um, so, some of the mesh part to make sure that everything looks good. Once you're happy with the feel, you want to select the spaces that you want to work on and hide the rest. And I'm going to select other faces and bevel it one more time and then extrude it inwards I'm going to invert the selection by hitting Ctrl I and add a um, crease onto those meshes and now we can move on to the next stage I'm going to select the faces which I want to work on select that edge loop and rotate it on the x-axis slightly Once you're happy and all the shape are looking good, um, you want to select this the particular edge or just any random edge. Hit Ctrl Shift G and select um, length, and then you can bevel it one more time and extrude it inwards. You want to invert the selection and add a mean crease. So that's it, and now you can go ahead and add your subdivision modifier and you have a tire you can increase the subdivision level to see more um, crisp detail so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoy what you see and want to see more for me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed so that blender can uh, youtube can recommend it to more blender users bye bye for now see you next time